In this screencast, we're going to look at five shortcuts that will help you to navigate around IntelliJ IDEA efficiently as your project grows. The first shortcut is called Search Everywhere and it's exceptionally powerful. It's useful for both experienced and new users to IntelliJ IDEA. Let's use Shift Shift to bring up the Search Everywhere dialog. You can use the tab to move between classes, files, symbols and actions. And you can use the same shortcut again to select the contextual checkbox in the top right. Let's type in what we want to search for, for example, navigate. As you can see, we have some classes that match that and some actions. Search Everywhere also supports filtering commands like forward slash plugins or forward slash editor. This allows you to toggle IntelliJ IDEA functionality on or off from this dialog. The second shortcut we're going to take a look at is called recent files. We can view our recent files at any time by using Command D on MacOS or Control and E on Windows and Linux to bring up the recent files dialog. You can navigate around this dialog with the arrow keys and you can use the same shortcut again to filter the list of changed files only. As with any IntelliJ IDEA dialog, you can type your search directly in to filter the results. For example, counter. You can also use recent files to display windows that don't have any keyboard shortcuts associated with them. For example, Maven. Alongside recent files, we can also use Command Shift and E on MacOS or Control Shift and E on Windows and Linux to bring up the recent locations dialog. Again, you can navigate around this dialog and type your search query straight in. The third shortcut that we're going to take a look at is called Navigate to Implementation. This shortcut can be used for both classes and methods and is very useful when you have multiple implementations. It answers the question, what do I do? In our customer repository interface, we can see from the gutter icons that these methods are implemented elsewhere. Let's use Option Command B on MacOS or Control Alt and B on Windows and Linux to navigate to the implementations. In the case of our save method, there are four. When we select one of these, such as MongoDB Customer Repository, IntelliJ IDEA takes us to that implementation. If there is only one implementation, IntelliJ IDEA will take you there straight away without the additional prompt. The fourth shortcut we're going to take a look at is called Find Usages. This shortcut can also be used for both classes and methods and takes the opposite approach to navigate to declaration. It looks for where a specific implementation is used. It answers the question, what called me? Let's use Option F7 on MacOS or Alt and F7 on Windows and Linux to find the usages for our isEmployed method. We can see that there are two usages, including the one that we're currently investigating. If we select the other usage, IntelliJ IDEA will take us to that location within the class. The last shortcut we're going to take a look at is called Navigate to Test. Creating tests and adding to existing test classes is a very common requirement. Using our banana check class, we can place the carrot on the class name and use Command Shift and T on MacOS or Control Shift and T on Windows and Linux to generate a test class. IntelliJ IDEA gives us the option of generating helper code for the methods we want to add tests for. Now we can go ahead and write our tests. We can use the same shortcut again to navigate back to our class as required. There's a lot more that you can do with keyboard shortcuts in IntelliJ IDEA, but search everywhere, recent files, navigate to implementation, find usages and navigate to test are our top five navigation shortcuts that will help you to move around your project quickly and efficiently. Thanks for watching.